Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The HAL's basic trainer STT-40 was first unveiled by PM Narendra Modi during Defense Expo on 19th October 2022. On 1st March 2023, the Cabinet Committee approved the acquisition of 70 STT-40 basic trainer aircraft from HAL for a whopping 6,828 0.36 crore rupees. The aircraft will be supplied to Indian Air Force over a period of six years, which will involve MSMEs from private sector, and HAL will be the lead integrator. On 22nd May 2023, HAL has launched the metal cutting for series production of S-2040 basic trainer aircraft at its Nasik division. As per HAL, the delivery of these aircrafts will commence from September 2025 onwards. To begin with, HL will be delivering 12 aircrafts in first year and increase production to 16 aircrafts next year and try to take the peak production rate to 20 aircrafts per year. HL is also looking to expedite the production of aircraft in anticipation of additional 36 aircraft orders from Indian Air Force and potential for export. The aircraft is testimony of HL's cutting edge technology designed to meet the primary training requirements of Indian Defence Services. It is built around a meticulously tested turboprop engine and the aircraft is equipped with latest avionics. It features all metal tandem seat with a bubble canopy and a T-tail configuration. It also includes air conditioned cockpit, zero zero ejection seats and multi-function displays. It features a retractable tricycle landing gear system with a steerable nose wheel. The aircraft boasts the unique features like running changeover of pilots, hot refueling and short turnaround time. All the tests required for certification of the aircraft have been completed in a record timeline of six years from its first flight and this is a very huge achievement. S-2040 has been designed to meet the PSQR issued by Indian Air Force and FR-23 standards. It has met all the PSQR performance parameters with a gross weight of 3050 kgs. The aircraft has completed all the system tests, all PSQR performance tests, hot weather, sea level and crosswind trials and user assisted technical trials. It has also demonstrated rainwater resistance. The aircraft has received provisional clearance for airworthiness from the Center of Military Airworthiness and Certification. Now going more in depth of its capability, it is powered by TPE331 12B engines which can deliver 40 hours of flying for the same cost which is needed to fly an F-16 or MiG-29 for an hour which kind of explain why the aircraft has got number 40 in its name. The aircraft can fly at 600 km per hour and reach an altitude of 6 km. It has capability to be converted into armed and weaponized version at later stage. With a maximum takeoff weight of 2800 kg, the trainer can be configured to carry a gun, rocket and bomb to perform the light combat or counter insurgency missions. HAL has also successfully integrated the lithium battery on s 40 and making it the first in the continent using lithium battery for military aviation. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.